A lot of the conversation stops dead in its tracks as a group of teens turn to look at me. Uh, they're just staring menacingly. Alrighty, welcome back, any and everybody. This is Lynn and Otter here to do another episode of Burrows. Uh, last we left off, there was some major cooking going on. <laughs> and by cooking, I mean character exposition and, you know, backstory revelations. So let's see how the story is going to continue. <clears throat> yes, yes. All right. Is he just waiting from the, watching from the shadows? Watching me struggle to understand his game? <clears throat> we're waiting to see what Virgil's going to have us do next. Ah. That's so pathetic. <laughs> I flip off the air in front of me, hoping he sees it. I also start my timer. That'll show him. <laughs> ah, shut up. Eddie and always said that the best way to piss someone off is to ignore them. Well, that's my goal for today. I'm just gonna listen to this great music. All right, it's 12.09. I should decide what to do with my afternoon. Oh, really? What, I didn't realize I'd get an episode, another choice so soon, what the heck? That's not fair. Um, okay, Ken's good. Ken's content. Ah, oh, shoot. Um, I have a feeling I'm not gonna get a chance to do all three of these things. Why would I even have the option to check on Kato Katoda? Katoda? Takoda? Can they pause the timer? Because I don't want to lose time debilitating, de de deliberating. Okay, let's try to be reasonable about this. Ken's fine. I can cross him out. Um, I, I, I'm not too concerned about him feeling like we're not on his side anymore or anything like that. So we're, he's in our corner. That's good. Dakota... I mean, I feel like that would almost also be an easy disqualification. Just, you know, like, I'm I'm a, so much more invested and concerned about Colt and Jesse right now. I want to make sure they're okay. But for plot reasons, there's an itch in my mind that says, you know, this is here for a reason. And I'm thinking if we check on K Dakota, you know, something plot relevant, or maybe we might be able to get some information that might help us later on down the line. And I'm thinking that might, you know, maybe give us some information on... Like, I, I, here's what I'm predicting. Something later on in this story is going to force me to choose, essentially, between Ken and Colt and Jesse. Potentially even for their very lives. And, you know, this definitely strikes me as a game that may have multiple endings. And I'm just thinking that there may be an ending where I can save everybody and have a really... You know, like just 99% good, you know, positive, happy ending. But the problem is, I don't know which, you know, like which series of choices will lead to that outcome. Kind of like Nekojishi, you know, and so I'm thinking for some reason, part of me is like, if I check on Dakota, maybe that'll be one of the clues or that'll reveal a clue or that'll be one of the choices I'm supposed to make to lead towards that ending. Because checking on Colton Jesse just seems too obvious. Am I right? Am I overthinking this? So it's like... I want to I want to check on Cole and Jesse because you know they're my boys. But I feel like also what's what's canonical. I mean, why would Gray even be thinking about Dakota right now? He'll come up later regardless. Oh, this is so hard. It's twelve oh nine. You know what, Cole and Jesse, Cole and Jesse, please let us have a chance to check on Dakota later. Besides, uh, we're gonna ignore we're gonna ignore Virgil. Gray said, and we don't want to worry about that we're just gonna hang out with our friends okay okay oh, I, hate, I hate this i head back down to the lobby and see the pair waiting by the front door colt's tail is wagging clearly excited about their outing hey ready to go so well glad you decided to join us glad you decided to join us Hey! Ah, oh, come on, I grabbed a map. An outing? Hold on, though, let me just... Actually, let me just... There we go. 
So there's an outing plan? Did I miss that? He opens up a pamphlet that shows a layout of wandering pines. It's about what I expected. A town square, places to shop, restaurants, etc. It's pretty walkable, so let's leave the box here. <laughs> Cold lines. Uh, your legs are going to atrophy if, you all, if all you do is sit on that back. I'll have you know I'm quite active. Yeah, actively avoiding the exercise. Ah, whatever. Let's just go already. Jeez. He bursts out the doors, almost tumbling down the short set of stairs. Me and Jesse chuckle. And there's a silent understanding between us. We have to make the most of our time here. After these two days, something is going to happen. The other, the other shoe will have to drop at some point. But for now, we're tourists. The Salta dog seems to be sectioned off, requiring a few extra robes to be crossed before arriving in town proper. I've always found small town America kind of bleak. The uniform rows of houses painted in bland colors, the puritanical judgment of your neighbors, the manicured lawns. I'm pleasantly surprised to see the buildings have at least been given a bold coat of navy blue, and everything else still checks out. Uh, I feel like we've driven through dozens of towns like this before without ever stopping. Yes, sir. My hometown wasn't much bigger than this. Same here. It's a little depressing to be back in one. Ah, let's at least give it a chance. They nod, they nod and we start exploring the main thoroughfare. We get a few stares from the locals. Well, Colt and Jesse do at least. Do you two really not own any other clothes? Look who's talking, Gray. Wearing the same thing in this entire story. <laughs> I ain't ashamed of my occupation, Pauls. This is what I'm comfortable wearing. Yeah, why should we change to make other people feel better? No, you're right. Sorry. So, this is where Ken grew up, huh? I kind of get why he became such a rebel. All the men walk around with pastel suits, smiling and nodding their hats to one another. The girls wear all white, giggling while reading magazines in the park. Everyone seems happy. Well, people like Frank, Michelle, and Doc all live here, too. Now I know there has to be a seedy underbelly hiding beneath the facade of perfection. Ugh. What the heck is a mouth shop? <laughs> something for the kids. Think of it like an ice cream parlor. Ah, I could go for something sweet. Colt shakes his head, gesturing to his outfit. <laughs> no, no. We're not going to risk running into another group of bikers and starting trouble again. We'll wait outside. Really? Sorry, I'm with Colt. We shouldn't cause problems for the locals. Hmm. My arms droop and I march inside. I wonder if it's like this everywhere they go. The bell jingles as I enter. A lively conversation stops dead in its tracks as a group of teens turn to look at me. Uh, they're just staring. Menacingly. Oh, God. Now they're whispering to each other. I can't do it. Huh? What happened? N nothing. Let's keep looking around. Get some water, too, because I forgot how hard this, these voices were on my throat. <laughs> I guess I never grew out of those childhood insecurities. Standing next to a bunch of kids makes me feel like feel ancient by comparison. Oh, I know that feeling. Jesse laughs and pats my back hard enough to knock the wind out of me. <laughs> I guess we're a little long in the tooth for ice cream. That's a cute saying. We're a little long in the tooth for ice cream. No, I'll, I'll find a way to get some. Now, ice cream is the only thing that keeps me sane sometimes. We could just buy some from the grocery store. Though, it'll have to be on our way home if you don't want it to melt. Huh? They don't sell ice cream at supermarkets. <laughs> they definitely do, son. Trust me, you don't get this big eating carrot sticks. <laughs> Amazing. Yes, let's do that. 
Hopefully such innovations find their way to the South someday. Eating ice cream in the comfort of my own home is a dream come true. Has it been brought up that Grace from a different time yet? I don't think so. It's strange though. What is? Don't you think the energy here is completely different compared to the salty dog? This town seems so quiet, and yet... Jesse nods. The dog's probably where they go to let loose. That's why it's not in the town itself. They'll go act the fool at their precious roadhouse and then turn up for church on Sunday like nothing happened. Saw it in Dallas plenty of times. Is that really such a bad thing? As long as they aren't hurting anyone, we all deserve a night to play around and have some fun. Jesse's tail brushes up, brushes up against Tail's leg and his whiskers stand on end. Oh, wait, what did it say? Oh, Jesse's tail. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess I was a little judgy there. <laughs> Sorry. I just find their judgment of us ironic. That's all. I ain't wishing nothing foul upon him. Because Jesse, you're a stand-up guy, and I love you. Let's start. Look, there's a, look, there's a cart selling Italian ices. Finally. Oh, that's cute. We jog over and take a look at and take a look at the available flavors. Hmm. Cherry, please. Lemon for me. I'll take one scoop of lime and one scoop of pina colada. Italian ice salesman. Italian. Italiano. That'll be fifteen cents. <laughs> <laughs> that's terrible. I'll just give him a regular. He's Italian, but that's just because that's just his heritage, not his accent. <clears throat> Oi, that'll be fifteen cents. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I almost choke on my food. Here's thirty. Can you make change? I used all of our nickels at breakfast. You guys are not. You guys are not. You are not about to pretend like thirty cents is a lot. And you guys are not going to make me feel bad that I can't go get ice cream for 30 cents. All right, we're done with that. <laughs> Jeez, these guys really need to start carrying a smaller amounts of money on them. Colt, plays, Colt pays Labrador the exorbitant fee and we sit on the park bench to enjoy our treat. Labrador? Oh, wait, no, never mind. I was going to say, is it uh, Mr. Peanut Butter? But he's a golden retriever. Oh. Oh, well, this is cute. Mmm. I love the taste of artificial chair syrup. That, we share it, Gray, we share that. Oh. Ah, this really brings me back. It's been a while since we stopped to smell the roses, Jess. The big otter nods, his belly shaking as he loosens his belt. <laughs> belt. Mmm. Maybe we needed this after all. Life has a way of forcing you to slow down before you break. Like getting sick the night before a big event. Oh, like getting, oops. Like getting sick the night before a big event? Yeah, your your body knows what's best for it. So if it's saying sit down and eat something sweet with your friends, do it. I'm in favor. Hmm, so long as it doesn't throw us off course again. His ears lower and I remember just how badly affected these two were by Virgil's free. Hey, don't worry. We'll get back on course when Scan's able to... A piece of paper flying through the air gets caught on my leg. Colt grabs it and shakes his head. <sighs> Let's not talk about that while we're in public, okay? Look. He flips the paper over. It's one of the wanted posters they mentioned last night. Yeah. We polish off our asses and enjoy the fresh spring air for a while, little, for a little while longer. I stretch my feet and Jess's strong arm, strong arm behind me acting as a headrest. Oh, and feel Jess's strong arm behind me acting as a headrest. Hope I'm not intruding. No, no, it feels nice. <laughs> Thanks. I lean back into his bristly arm. His fur is so dense, it feels like laying on wild grass. Maybe, even in this messed up world, I can feel at peace for a few minutes. Okay, what next? I glance up at the hanging clock towards the middle of the park. It's still pretty early, but I don't want to leave Ken alone too long. Hmm. We still have to check on Ken's bike, yeah? Ooh, I almost forgot. Yeah, 
They had some really nice jackets. Gold? I'm just saying. Maybe for Christmas. But right now we're strapped for cash. Yeah, yeah. Let's go already. I like your jacket. Hmm. I wasn't getting it for me. Ooh. We follow Jesse through a few winding streets and reach a street, st uh, reach a stretch of auto repair shops on the south side of town. I hear Italian opera playing from radios as we pass by open garage doors. The mechanics, all mustelids, look rough around the edges, covered in grease and smeared in oil. Oh, more smeared in oil. They keep a close eye on us as we walk down the block, murmuring in a language I don't understand. I don't feel very welcome. They're just making sure we're not a threat. Close-knit communities like these have to look out after their own. So when a strange group of varmints want us to do their turf, it's natural to assume they'd be, they'll be trouble. I could understand being cautious of outsiders, but members of their own species? Eventually, we reach the last shop at the very edge of town. A sign reading Johnny is written in flaming red and yellow letters, complete with a cartoon motorcycle pointed underneath, painted underneath. Ah, isn't this place cool? Exactly how I feel when I walk into an anime or a card shop. Ah, at least we know what we're getting into. Now, I can definitely imagine a younger Ken spending all his time here. We head inside and immediately get hit with the smell of fresh paint. Alright, let's do some Italian here. Hey, yo, Fini! Ah, you, you two again. And you brought a friend. A manger looking male raccoon man at the checkout counter. Hey, bada bing. <laughs> I don't know, man. Is that Brooklyn? I don't know these accents. Wheelless motorcycles hang from the ceiling, suspended by chains. Ah, uh, hi. I'm guessing you're Johnny? Huh. At least one, at least this one's got some brains. What are you doing back so soon, Gramps? Gramps? I'm, I assume you're referring to me, punk. Bingo. Hey, hey. Are, are these teal, tail pieces aluminum? I've never seen such shiny, I've never seen such shiny, uh, shiny ones. The raccoon lets the question let the raccoon lets the question hang in the air before replying in a flat voice. Mm -hmm. Polished chrome. Not as lightweight, but much more durable than aluminum. Cool. Anyway, we're here to check on the back. With how much of the deposit you wanted up front, I hope it was mostly done by now. I'd hoped it was mostly done by now. He scoffs and grabs something from behind the desk as he stands up. You're not senile, are you? I said three days, and I meant three days. B right, but... Johnny sighs and hobbles around the corner, leaning on a cane. Takes me a second to realize he's got a prosthetic leg. Hey. <sighs> this is about him, right? You mean... Yes... Y'all probably want him out of your hair as soon as possible. I can't blame you. He's nothing but trouble. It hasn't been easy for me either. Most of, most of the town thinks I was involved, and the cops come around at least twice a day to make sure he's not hiding in the back. Hmm. Yeah, hell yeah. I'm not going to tell you how to do your job, son. But the second that bike is finished, I need you to, I need you to call us. Here's the number for our suite. He whistles and takes Jess's card, stashing it behind his ear. Hmm. Hey, glad he used that money for something nice. Glad he used that money for something nice. I'll call from my payphone. It will be Finn. Capiche? Damn. He even had a fake name ready to go. We need to have a long talk about role models, boy. <laughs> oh, I see. He was impressed. Um, everyone quiets down. An engine idles in the garage out back, begging me to break the awkward silence. What did he do? <laughs> John's eyes go wide.
You... You stuck your neck out for him without even knowing the whole deal? Why is this music getting scary? And why did I just now realize that my timer was set for 19 hours, not 19 minutes? <laughs> this is concerning. He starts inching towards me, his metal leg scraping across the tiled floor. <laughs> Idiot. Oh, he won't, he won't hesitate. He won't. How do I do that voice? I want to get it right. Idiot. Oh, he won't hesitate to toss you to the side if you get in his way. I got lucky. I got off with just losing a leg. Who knows what he'll what he'll do to you? J Jesus. It, you're. He burst into laughter, dropping his cane to lean against the counter. What the heck? <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's just, oh, every time a new person sees this leg, I have to make up a new story about it. Uh, truth is, I was born like this. Me and Ken are just childhood friends. Oh, jeez, my knees. Wait, so the story you told us was hogwash? <laughs> yeah, sorry. I bend down to return his cane, but he waves me away, slowly crouching to get it himself. <laughs> if y'all want to know, you'll have to ask him. It's his story to tell, not mine. All he told me before leaving was that it wasn't murder one. Murder one. Wait, what? It wasn't murder one? Hmm, maybe just murder. That it wasn't murder. We used to be cool, but I'm not seeing, I'm not getting wrapped up in anything that could lose me this shop. I get it. Thank you. Oof, wh why the hell are you thanking him? He gave us all the runaround. He gave us all the runaround. Ah, you'd do the same thing to keep Colt safe, wouldn't you? Ah, ugh. Far. God, he's so cool. <laughs> I'm suddenly compelled to spend money. No, oh, dang, damn it. Ugh, fine. One thing, but keep it under $10. We still got to budget our trip back to Route 44, remember? Route 44, remember? He nods off and runs like a kid in the candy shop. His smile never fades. Oh, fails to melt my heart. His smile never fails to melt my heart. Feel free to look around. If you're going to spend a lot of time on the road, you'll need safer gear than that. He points to my slightly tattered shirt. What? What is that? Cotton? Oh, you'll be you'll be a meat crayon in seconds if you keep up like that. Ah, uh, uh, what? <laughs> Don't think too hard about it. We'll figure something out. Johnny gives us a nod and hobbles back around and sit his, sit at his perch. He's friendlier than he lets on. That's for sure. I can only imagine how he and Ken were as kids. Terrorizing the town and driving their noisy box up and down their precious paved roads. Maybe a little chaos isn't so bad once in a while. And Colt comes running to the front with some iron-on patches and metal doodads. Jesse sighs in disapproval as Johnny rings him up for a price that makes me double take. Jeez, talk about a racket. How do you afford to maintain your box without steady work? It's like I told you, us road folks are like one big family. We hold each other up when we need something. And when that doesn't work, there's always someone willing to pay us for odd jobs. Some stuff is better suited to out-of-towners since we don't ask questions. Ah, been there. That's why I knew you'd be good company, Gray. You didn't judge us when we first met. You saw the good in us. I dig my heel in the dirt, not sure what to say. I've always been told that being overly trusting was a bad quality of mine. I just think everybody deserves a fair shake. Everyone. Hmm. Even Ken. Hmm. Even Ken. To a certain extent. Now I look to Johnny who's been pretending to read a magazine this whole time. His yellow eyes peek over the edge with curiosity. You know him better than I do, so feel free to call me a fool. He thinks for a moment 
tapping his claws against his wooden leg. He's difficult, troubled, and he has a nose for trouble. Things are only going to get worse if you stick around him. I see. But, I gotta say, I ain't never met a more loyal son of a in my whole life. If you can put up with everything else and show him kindness, oh, who knows? Maybe y'all can meet the real him. Aw, look at that smile. He's sweet. Maybe, oh, maybe, maybe y'all can meet the real him. I think I've seen enough, personally. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather keep my hide. <laughs> yeah. Well, whatever happens, it's nice to see some new faces around the shop. One things with Kent. Once things with Ken blow over, come stay a while. Aw. Don't you mean if things blow over? He shakes his head, chuckling grimly. No, not this time. Right. Come on, gang. He waves us off as we leave, sadness creeping across his face. Aww. Wait, Balsam, come here. Huh? You know where he is, yeah? Oh, give him this next time you see him. He takes my hand and places a folded piece of paper in it. Don't let anyone else read it. That includes you. Oh, whoops. Don't let anyone else read it. That includes you. Only show him this once you're ready to part ways. It's about to go down. I'll make sure he gets it. Good luck, boss. I mean it. Aww. I exit the shop. That tiny note sitting in my pocket like a one-ton weight. Walking up to the pair, I catch them mid-conversation. Oh boy, then th 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 things are worse than I thought. We got. Oh, whoops. Did I... Oh no, it's. We gotta stay away from that cat as much as we can. Any further involvement, we're liable to pay the price. Got it, y'all. Don't have to tell me twice. He clears his throat and I stall. He might as well have just said, got it, Gray. Look, I I'm happy hanging out with you guys, but I'm still my own person. If I want to see him, I will. You're not going to make me choose. That's something I have to decide for myself. Mm, you're right. We can't make you. It, it wouldn't be right. It wouldn't be right. Do what makes you happy, Gray. We have at least one last day together. Whatever you decide. See, there is going to be a choice. One day, huh? I blink away a, sink, a stray tear. I really hate goodbyes. Oh, my timer went off a while ago. I forgot that my phone was having some audio issues. Ah, jeez. Ah, yeah, all right, let's pause it here. I shouldn't have thought of this as a vacation. Their lives have been derailed because of me. And on that semi-somber note, we're kind of going to leave it. But yeah, I knew it. There is going to be some kind of a choice coming up. Oh, that makes me so sad. I mean, as long as we can leave them on good terms, I'm happy. I, I, I just don't know how this story is going to play out. Like, what is going to become of them? Goodness. Alrighty. In the meantime, uh, let me just say thank you guys for watching and tuning in. I always appreciate it. The channel's growing and I'm getting close to 300 subscribers. So, I mean, it's it's insane. I, I'm really trying to push towards growth right now. Uh, I want to do more things like, uh, like work on my animation and streaming more and doing other types of games besides just visual novels. And I'll be completely honest, the closer I get to 1,000 subscribers, the more plausible that becomes for me. So it's, it's exciting. But in general, I'm just glad that people are really liking it. Some of the comments I read, you guys are really nice, and I really appreciate that you like it and give me suggestions about stuff. Like, 
keep, please keep them coming. I I know some of these visual novels are gonna I'm gonna be caught up soon, so there's gonna be time for, to choose some other ones. So let me know about uh, any ones you want me to try. I'll I'll give them a look. But in the meantime, that's it for now, I guess. We'll just have to wait till we see you next time. Thanks again. Take care. Bye now.